Yahar! I'm Mr. Clifford. This is ACDC Econ Key Concepts in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to talk about the total revenue test, also called the total expenditures test. It determines or it talks about inelastic and elastic demand curves. The question on the AP test or some other test is going to say something like this. If demand is elastic and price goes up, what happens to total revenue? Right? And you have to know that. There's two ways to figure it out. One, just know it. Or two, start the graph, right? It's easy. Take a look. We'll start the time, ready and now. The first one's inelastic. Inelastic, as you know, demand is insensitive to a change in price, right? The quantity doesn't change very much. When price goes up, people buy about the same amount. When price goes down, they don't buy that much more. An example is milk. So take a look. Here's some price right here. The price goes down, let's say, for milk. People don't buy that much more. So if you see this, take a look. This is the box beforehand, and right here is the box afterwards. Good. Just by looking at it, you can tell when the price goes down, total revenue actually it's falls. It got smaller. And if price goes up, you can see the box gets bigger, so total revenue gets bigger. Price goes up, total revenue gets bigger. Price goes down, total revenue gets smaller. Inelastic demand. Down here, on the other hand, take a look. Good. When the price falls, well, people are going to buy a crap load more. Right here, they buy a little bit more, but here they'll buy a whole lot more. So this is like Target or something else that's having a sale. They lower the price, a whole lot of people show up like after Thanksgiving. So when the price goes down, you see the box gets bigger, bigger, total revenue increases. When the price goes up, however, they raise their price, the total revenue is going to fall. Price goes up, total revenue down. Price goes down, total revenue up. Good, this is elastic. Inelastic, insensitive to a change uh, in price. Elastic is very sensitive to a change in price. Good, until next time. Bonus round. There's a way to remember this concept without actually drawing the graph. Let me give you a little trick. If you want to look like an eye, there's two ways. There's this way and there's that way. Okay, look like an eye. Now you think of your hand as price and total revenue. So if I look inelastic, I look like an eye, inelastic demand curve. My price goes down, what happens to my total revenue? Well, it goes down. What happens if price goes up when I'm inelastic? Well, total revenue is going to go up. For elastic, it's the other way. Okay? For elastic, if the price goes down, total revenue goes up. And if price goes up, total revenue goes down, I'm elastic. That's how you're going to remember it. Try it on the test. Until right? next time.